I am Doug McCray, and I'm one of the educators here at the Charles Wright Museum of African American History. We have gone through a large part of the exhibit that is called In Still We Rise. It takes us from ancient Africa all the way up to modern day America. And this particular area here has got some fantastic area um, information about several different churches. Without a doubt, any African American community, you will definitely find some places where people can go and have religious worship. And faith has been the very thing that has made it possible for our ancestors to survive, capture the trip across the ocean, enslavement, and for us to be standing here today, a matter of faith. As we move a little bit farther, there's different information that you can see about specific churches that were always available there in the city of Detroit. So many, many people had a choice of which church they wanted to, to go into and, and worship to, and other people had a choice of where church, what churches they wanted to go to, but the good thing about it is that the church was always there. This particular panel that we see here is one I always like to talk about, Shrine of the Black Madonna. It definitely continues talking about religion, Christianity, but the Shrine of Black Madonna addresses, addresses Christianity in a way that's much, much more revolutionary. Another panel that I'm sure many, many Detroiters will be glad to see, the New Bethel Baptist Church. This was uh, the church that was pastored by Reverend C.L. Franklin, who was the father of Aretha Franklin. Reverend Franklin also was important for the civil rights struggle because he also did lots of things to make it possible for people to have places where they could go and, and make plans to, to arrange boycotts, to, to arrange marches, things like that. If not for the church, we would not have been able to do those things and make the changes that we needed with the blessing of God. We have here, what, four, five, nine different photos, but all of these are from different churches, and they all show, if you look at any of these faces closely, you can see on their faces the devotion and the commitment to their particular church. A lot of people, it surprises me to learn, but a lot of people are surprised to learn that the, the Nation of Islam was founded in the city of Detroit. The Nation of Islam is talking about separation totally and completely so that we can have our own country, our own place to do the things for us. Because as long as we wait for others to do it for us, it's not gonna happen. If it does happen, it's gonna happen in a very, very small way. Because we have this type of people and another type of people in the same community, it's important that we have a place where those people can go to. We have made the complete circle, but this is one that um, is dear to many, many people's hearts, the Plymouth Congregational Church. It's very, very important to our community because it did a lot to make it possible for African Americans to have opportunities that had been denied to them. And it also, this particular church also made it possible for, for um, different things to happen as far as urban renewal, things to be built up in and around the communities. I remember hearing a long time ago, in the time of slavery, the people who owned the plantation would always say that you can tell when they are happy when you hear them singing. But for some reason, they did not understand that we are singing about escape. We're singing about being free.